We don't see a lot of stars in Singapore because of all the light, but out here, even though we've got a bit of a light show going on, you can see stars in the sky, which is really special. We are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Hello, Hello everybody! We are at Sentosa Sensory Scape, the new kind of walkway with little gardens, interactions, lots of lights, you might be able to see them going up behind us which is pretty cool. So we're going to wander through and show you what's here tonight. Yeah, well we've been here many times before, before they built all of this. There used to be a giant merlion here, there was a, a, a like a Gaudi park, where it was like a, oh, yeah. um, it was a, well, like a copy of uh, Park Guell in, uh, in Barcelona, where we've been. Here's a few little shots while we talk. Um, but yeah, that's what used to be here, it's not here anymore and they've developed this huge sensory walk that they have said is great for kids and elderly alike so we're testing it out for while well, the kids are here and I'm the elderly. <laughs> This is the first bit that you get to when you walk in or when you come in from Vigo. We actually walked over the boardwalk um, and when we walked over it was still kind of bright and now it's all dark and night time which is amazing. It's very loud here, there's a lot of kids around um, but it's fun. There's uh, this mist going on, these lights happening overhead which is pretty cool. Um, this is just a really really lovely hustle and bustle of the first place that you get to. I've literally got no idea what else to expect but um, we're looking forward to checking it all out. There's also a Starbucks here and a Sentosa shop as well, so if you needed a few little bits you can grab, sit some, have a drink, have some cake in the evening. It's buzzing around here, different music playing. Lots of laughing, lots of chatting. This is the second week it's been open, but it doesn't feel too crowded, which is nice. We're still able to explore everything as we're going around, so we're gonna head over to the next section. The, the mist is actually water, so I'm a bit wet. So we're just walking down the lookout loop, which is really cool. It basically has a nice loop over the misty bit that we were looking over just now. But to the left of me, just behind, is a beautiful colonial building, beautifully lit. And then to the right is the Oasis Spa Hotel, where Millie and I had the opportunity to stay for our 12th wedding anniversary just a few months ago. If you haven't checked out that video, please check it out. They were so kind, gave us a giant suite, which is like the size of our apartment, that we were able to stay in, and we were treated so beautifully. So do check Check that out after this video <laughs> because we've got so much more to show you we're only at the first bit we haven't even finished the first bit yet and behind me um, there's so much more that we're going to explore in just a moment Just over here is what they call the tactile trellis and they've got some projections on this absolutely beautiful frame uh, which is made of concrete, it's white, it's like beautiful in its own right yet they're projecting um, amazing illuminations on it. The way that the shadows play along the base of it also just looks absolutely beautiful and, uh, and it's amazing to see how it rotates. They've got some beautiful music playing as well which is great. Um, and it just makes it for uh, makes for a really really beautiful environment this evening. We're walking downhill a little bit more. There seems to be another trellis style thing. Uh, the kids have been uh, stopped by these moving bubbles on the floor, which is really cool. Again, projected by light, um, and they yeah. seem to be reactionary. I think they all move based on what you do on the lights as well, which is cool. Um, it is buzzing tonight. As many said, this place has only been open. Uh, this is the second weekend, so maybe 10 days. And uh, it's great to be able to see so many people here enjoying everything that there is to see. It's the gold sparkles. Yeah. They become different things. The trellis thing behind me is actually made of steel. The first one was made of concrete. So this one's very, very different. 
don't know whether this one's got projections on it. Um, it didn't the moment ago when I was looking that way. I bet now that I'm talking to you, it's got projections all over it or something. Anyway, uh, it, it doesn't have projections on it, and we're um, just interested to see what it might be. It looks like there might be some installations inside, beautiful music around the place, and like I said earlier, just a great atmosphere. We're really happy to be out tonight. It's great. At the moment, we're walking along the top. We're actually walking alongside the monorail, so we're quite high up, and you can see down into all of these different trellises. Each one of the trellis has a different theme. This one is all about sense and Aspen discovered that there's like an augmented reality um, thing that you can scan and this one is producing butterflies all around the place so it just gives a little something extra to add in and like we said it is accessible so there's loads of ramps, there's lifts to get up here and everything so if you've got buggies. We even saw lots of dogs up here as well so that's quite nice, something to come and enjoy with everyone. So we're going to keep going along the top at the moment and then we're going to head down and go into all of the trellises uh, and explore more what's in the side there too. Already from here, we can hear water behind me. Uh, there's a blue trellis. I'm guessing there's gonna be fountains and stuff, which I'm very much looking forward to. But I just noticed over there, there's some stairs that do take us down uh, to the ground level where, um, as Millie said a bit earlier, we're elevated looking down on all these beautiful uh, installations. But there are some stairs that go up. Uh, it's blocked off at the moment, you can't go there, but I'm just wondering what it takes us to. It looks like a hill covered in rainforest, um, which is beautiful. I wonder what's going to be up there in the months to come. Very much looking forward to finding that out when, uh, when it opens. But for now, we're going to continue just down this little slope. I will say that um, everything so far has been accessible for wheelchairs. I've got a grandma who's 94. Uh, she would complain about being out this long and Sentosa for her feels like a long haul flight at the moment, even though she just lives in Pongal. Um, but uh, if we had the opportunity to bring her here and uh, push her around and help her to be able to see everything, I love the fact that everything is accessible for her. Well done Singapore, well done to all, for all the buggies and all the parents pushing their kids around. It really is such a great place for the whole family to be able to enjoy. I have just come down some stairs. There is lift access. I know I was talking about um, accessibility just now, but we've just come down some stairs, which is basically the end of this walkway behind us. It takes you down towards Palawan Beach. It takes you down towards the Wings of Time show, which we've done as well. Links below for that too, or maybe it's popping up right now. I don't know, because Millie's editing the video. <laughs> um, and we've headed down to ground level now. And our plan is to walk back up and to give a ground level elevation of everything that we've just seen. Um, and I think it's going to be extra special because as we say so many different times in so many different places when you're at a different elevation you get such a different perspective and everything that's there. Yeah, I think coming down here like the lights are all changing, we're a little bit closer to some of it now. Ground level they've got, um, it's all very nature based so down here they've got lots of different plants that you can kind of smell. One of them I think with the water is going to feel completely different being like surrounded because it's like 365 the water trickling through these beautiful things that look like leaves 360 yeah it probably happens 365 days a year but 360 <laughs> degrees yeah but um <laughs> anyway but yeah um so this is nice being completely surrounded by this but we're going to carry on and go all the way back through every section We're in, and honestly, you don't realize quite how big this is until you're in the middle of it, looking up and around. The sound is beautiful. You can just hear the water uh, splashing through, which is really lovely. Um, it doesn't sound like a big waterfall. It's like lots of little splashes, which is really cool. What they change every time. Uh, Aspen and Millie are enjoying the AR, the augmented reality thing on the app. Uh, and there's lots of things to see around here, which is great too, but I'm very, very much enjoying just being in the middle of it all.
How's it yawn? <laughs> I think the queue is going to get shorter as we go further up um, because this one's even short, like really, really short. The last one was a bit long. We waited that one for about 10 minutes, I think, Aspen and I. This one's going to be like a two minute or maybe even a one minute. So we're really, really close to the front and we just got here. So we're looking forward to getting into here and seeing uh, what it's like from ground level. The last one, like I said, just felt enormous. This one actually seems even bigger. I don't know if it is. It looks even bigger. Looking forward to showing you what is here. This one is bigger than the other one. It feels completely different in here. It's amazing how just surrounded by this metal trellis that it can feel so different. The lights are different in here. The planting is very different. The music is different, what's on the floor. So each one feels just so wonderfully, amazingly different. <laughs> I was trying to think of another word, but I couldn't think of one. So you've got different. There you go. You can varied. Varied. You can give me some other words in the comments. But uh, yeah, coming in each section, just feels feel different. different. This final one, the concrete one, which is the first one we came to, is a little less interactive. Um, it does seem to have something where you can put your hand over a sensor or something and pull up something into the screen, which is great. But I think there's only four points where you're able to do that. And so it's not one for the masses, but it is um, absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can see behind me how wonderful uh, the projections are and how colorful it is and the music that's playing here just creates such a beautiful atmosphere. It actually reminds me a little bit of Autumn Moon Festival, which happens um, once a year, and they have all of the um, installations over at Gardens by the Bay. It's got that sort of mood to it, which I really, really love. I love that time of year. Um, I love the festivities. And uh, yeah, it's just got a really, really beautiful atmosphere here. This is the last stop. We're gonna um, enjoy this before we head off home, I think. So you put your hand over this, Center, and then uh, some, an animal appears on the dots. Over here we've been looking up because everything directs you to look up, all the trellises, you follow everything to the top and you look up out and there's like a big circle being framed by the top of the trellis and we can see stars which is just beautiful. We don't see a lot of stars in Singapore because of all the light but out here even though we've got a bit of a light show going on you can see stars in the sky which is really special. What an experience. Yeah, this is lovely. The park is actually open 24 hours, but this experience with the lights and things starts at uh, 7.50 until 9.40. There is five minutes left here, so we're going to wrap up and make our way home. But this has been so lovely. We were just sitting in the breeze with this like relaxing music and things, and we realised with the stars, it was just so lovely. So we've just been sitting here, watching the stars, watching the light show. It's been really nice. Yeah, it's really just been lovely. a really, really peaceful evening. I've talked a lot about the atmosphere tonight. Hopefully you can catch it over the video. Hopefully you've um, been able to see everything that's available here for you to be able to experience yourself. It really is worth the visit. Um, and Sentosa, some people think it's an acronym for so expensive, nothing to see also. But it's not. This was whole, whole thing was free and yeah. it was just beautiful. So. Yeah, just well done uh, Sentosa, well done Singapore. Yeah, we made a bit of an evening, we had dinner at Vivo, we like the food court downstairs, we know mm. the one upstairs, but the one downstairs is cheaper, and in my humble opinion, I prefer the food down there as well. So, yeah, so we kind of did that, and then we walked over the boardwalk, which is a brilliant walk as well, oh, and then nice. we walked up along the top, and then down below, and then we will head back to Vivo to catch the MRT home. So, a really interesting evening, exploring all of this stuff. I don't know if you can see the t-shirt I've gotten right now. It's our Wanderlust t-shirt. Oh, what happened to that? I've just moved us off the... Okay, so Wanderlust t-shirt. Uh, it is available from our website, thewanderlustway.com. Hopefully you can get on there, buy some t-shirts. We are nearly out of sizes, so please get hurrying up and buying what you can, and we will send it out to you as soon as possible with some free stickers too. Yeah. Woo. So and we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, see you next time. Oh, hail. What? Subscribe. Subscribe. Do subscribe. We never yes. ask you to, but please do. It means a lot. Please subscribe. And if you haven't seen any of our Walking with Wanderlust ones, just for something different, you can pop them on while you're on the treadmill. I actually watch our own ones when I'm on the treadmill. Because <laughs> I just find it, it's just better to have something watching. Um, and a few other people suggested it, so I gave it a go. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, maybe give that a go too. But yeah, that's everything. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.